Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how to manage multiple Salesforce projects in Code Builder? Well, you are in luck today. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of managing multiple Salesforce projects seamlessly in Code Builder. Hi, I'm Mohit, a developer advocate at Salesforce, and welcome to another episode of Modernize Your Developer Tools. In this series, we explore the latest developer tools such as Code Builder, Einstein for Developers, and Code Analyzers to boost your developer productivity. If you missed any episodes, check out the full playlist via the link down below. All right, let's dive right in. We'll first start by creating a project. Now, to create a new Salesforce project, all you have to do is from the command palette, look for sfdx create a project command. You can choose a specific folder and by default, your project workspace will be created in the code builder home directory. All right, so the next step is to create another project so we can understand how to manage more than one project. So, Next, I'm gonna create a project and name it as my project two. And let's place it in the home directory of Code Builder again. All right, now that we have two of these projects created, let's see how we can switch between these projects. It is very simple. All you need to do is click on this icon that I show here that you can find in the Code Builder and select the file option that you see here. And you can see that from here, we present both of these projects that you've created. And you can simply click on the one that you need to work with. All right, next, let me show you how a single project workspace can link to multiple orgs. So as we have covered in the previous video, you can authorize a project workspace to a Salesforce org using SFDX authorize an org command. But here's something that is more useful when it comes to managing multiple projects. You can now authorize multiple arcs by using the same SFDX authorize an arc command, but you'll have to do it multiple times with all of the arcs that you want to connect with. And Code Builder persistently stores all of the connections for you. Now, once you have authenticated to all of these orgs, switching between the orgs is a breeze. All you need to do is click on this footer icon and select the org that you want your project to connect to. For instance, here I'm connected to orgs such as dev, test, and UAT. Now I can select dev org so I can retrieve all of my metadata from this org and then simply switch back to the another org, test org here, where I can deploy everything from my developer environment. To summarize, check out this slide illustrating how you can have multiple projects in Code Builder and establish connections with multiple orgs. And that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and explore our full playlist to stay updated on the latest tools and resources to supercharge your skills. Thank you so much for watching.